Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome. Hopefully, everybody's ready for the weekend. Good to see you all. Good to see you, Chuck, Bonnie, everyone. All right. Well, let me tell you, it is a crappy, crappy day out there. I'm telling you. But we only need one. We only need one stock, and everybody's doing well on the CCCL. We're going to talk about it in a little bit. But, uh, you know, we, this is your typical Friday, something that we have to kind of look forward to. So we just got to take it with a little grain of salt and just go from there. But uh, we're going to have a little fun with the CCCL. I know a lot of you guys have jumped in. It was actually one of the morning wa- – uh, I mean, if you look at my morning watch list, there's only two stocks, CCCL and Sage. That's it. Nothing else. So, um, and you'll see that, guys, and, and, you know, when we start going through the watch list. But before we do that, I uh, want to basically just go out there and uh, just give guy, everyone a heads up that today we're going to start. We have classes going on today. We've got phase two classes starting today. So all the gold, platinum students, phase two today, be there. Most important part of your lessons. And um, I know you guys did uh, journaling, you know, um, the, 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 uh, was it yesterday? Uh, going over journals and all that good stuff. So very, very important that you guys uh, get into class because, listen, this is Sunday football right here. You know what we're doing right now, but you don't trade all day long. It's a part-time job, and, uh, you know, class is obviously most important. Now, let's talk about what happened yesterday before we start going over some of the stocks that are moving this morning because it's really not that much to talk about, I mean, other than the CCCL. But I want to talk about yesterday because yesterday was actually a pretty good day. Got a couple of nice little stocks that made some really nice moves. I personally thought that the C the C I E L uh, the C I E N was out of all the stocks the best stock out of the, uh, out of all of them moving. The only one problem with this stock is it was very very fast. Okay, I had some little nasty shakes, a little bit brand name. You know, I'm not a really big fan of trading very expensive stocks. Not that forty two dollars an expensive stock, but you know. It is a little bit of a brand name. It had a little bit, it had its shakes going on right there. And um, stock uh, stock was pretty good. What happened with Brexit, uh, Neil? Uh, Neil? Listen, lot, you know what? There is just so much, not good news, great news coming out uh, with jobs report, Brexit. I mean, we are breaking all-time highs on the Dow Jones. I told you, I, I, I have... I predict the Dow's going to be by next year. You got the China deal. It looks like it's going to come to fruition. You could probably see 32,000 on the Dow, personally. I think you could probably see that. that that's not flair fetch. And you know what? There's a lot of great stocks out there. Hopefully, everybody traded the CSQ. I mean, this is, I told you this. I have a the, um, CSQ. I have a ton of shares of this stock. You know, um, stock pays 8% uh, a year dividend and it pays you every single month okay you know so i mean if everybody remembers from christmas last year everyone should have got this stock uh the long-term chart stock was down to eight remember the christmas crash right here i mean this was just awesome so uh csq yep eight could you imagine eight percent it pays you cash every single and it pays you on the month not even on the year on the month so I know everybody bought a, a bunch. I own a, I own, dude, I own tens of thousands of shares of this stock, you know, in my, I, in, in my pension. But you know, that, anyway, that's that that's swing trading. That's actually, I'm sorry, that's not swing trading. That's investing. Let's talk about, you know, obviously the day trading part of it. All right. So anyway, uh, and by the way, there's a bunch of them out there with this uh, that that trade with it. So anyway, that was a really good stock. Um, let's talk about also a couple other good stocks. Uh, lumber liquidators. What's up with this stock? It's like a little sneaky, you know, the lumber liquidators. And I'm going to throw that back on the watch list because, you know, lumber liquidators, it, we have a long story about this stock. I mean, just tell you how, just even watching 60 Minutes show, it co- totally destroyed this stock. If we go back and you could see here, that, I mean, this thing was just like got decimated. Um, you know, thing just got crushed. But anyway, that that's another story in itself. But anyway, unfortunately, catastrophes make for opportunities. ECG, huge winner for us, big winner. But sure enough, the stock took a big hit. Can't go broke taking a profit. AMRX, another good big winner right there. That was a nice little cheapy. That one made a really nice move too also. 
So, you know, we, we had our, we had our um, uh, a typical hump day, which is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. You know, so we had a pretty good day overall yesterday. Um, some of us did pretty good. Some of us did okay. You know, um, I got shaken out, actually, a couple of stocks. I was kind of really ticked off. Um, and, and anyway, I, I mean, you know me, I'm trading several thousand shares of stock. You know, but we, you know, we don't talk about that. We just talk about how many points we are. So everyone has different priorities than others. But um, I got shaken out. This one stock shook me out. I was really, really ticked off at this stock. I don't know if you guys heard me yesterday. But you know what? Josh came in my office and he goes, man, he goes, I never seen somebody so relaxed. He says, why are you not upset? I'm like, you know what? Because I love my job. I love my job and I'll do it. And tomorrow I'll make a pack. I'm not worried about it. So that's, uh, that's trading. You know what I mean? So you can't, you can't expect to um, hit um, home runs every single day. It's all about base hits. You know what I mean? The whole, whole idea is you don't want to get yourself in a big hole. So um, anyway, what's moving on this morning? What we got going on this list? First of all, let's go back to the CCL trade, okay? So she's backing off a little bit. She had a nice little pop. A lot of you guys remember this stock. We traded this stock not, literally not too long ago. Uh, and you could see it right here. The stock went from went from like eighty cents to a buck fifty. Came back down. We know the stock is a phenomenal, phenomenal short squeeze. It was a great short squeeze. And then you probably remember this back in two thousand eighteen. We traded. It went from a buck fifty to six dollars. So this stock, just be very, very careful. Don't look at it. Oh, China stocks, yay! You know, um, we're gonna have this trade deal. Listen, us as day traders. You all know this. The less you know, the better it is. When you go out there, all you care about is just making money. Just follow the money, make your days pay, and that's it. Okay? That's it. Well, you know what, Ken? Everybody out there is, you know, you got to look at the news. Sometimes, you know, listen, the, that is like the last of the last of the last things I do. You know, sometimes you know, you might hear me joke around and you know we have the Benzinga, you know, news and, and sometimes you don't even see it. But I'm like, what the hell's up with the stock? So, I mean, I'll check maybe at the end of the day and like it keeps going up. Like um like the trade of the what was it? The you know, the CIEN. I'm like, you know, what's the news on it? You know, why did it keep you know had a nice push, keeps breaking higher highs. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter how you dissect the news it all matters about making money right so just follow the money and i'll make your life a lot easier don't get the, you know don't worry about anything else now the sage by the way this stock is was already at 78 dollars. now we all been watching this stock um this stock not only became as a day trade but uh became uh became a great great swing trade we saw the stock go from 150 down to 51 this stock had a major, major support levels, major support levels at $61, okay? So I don't know if anyone here got the swing trade on that. And by the way, yes, we do swing trade. Um, very nasty stock. We made a lot of money on this stock, but let me tell you, you had some nasty shakes on it. Couldn't trade a lot of shares of it. But when you listen, at the end of the day, when you look at what happened in 2017, you knew it was major support levels. That's why I never broke it when it came down to that major low. That's what's called program trading. I don't know if you guys know about that. We cover that in class. But yeah, program trading kicking in. Tons of shares held there. Guess what? If you got at 61, you're looking looking gorgeous at 70, 72 right now. Once again, not a day trade, more of a swing trade. But it was a good day trade yesterday. Lumber liquidators will throw that back on the watch list. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Listen, it is Friday. It's a great weekend. Um you got two more weekends until Christmas to do your Christmas shopping. I mean, you know, a lot of people just, you know, whatever. I mean, all this news coming out. We're having great news that's coming out of, out of Washington. Uh, you got the market up. You got the Brexit deal. You know, everything looks great. So um, just sit back and enjoy the ride, everyone. Just enjoy the ride. But overall, as a day trade, not, not a big list this morning. Not a big list. The CCCL is really the only one out there that if you were here early this morning, you should all be being around a buck ten, buck fifteen right now. So you're looking pretty good. Anyway, seventy six percent still looks pretty strong. All right. Um, <laughs> C two's trading C uh, C I E, and that's why it, it was going up. 
<laughs> well, you know what, Ken? We, I, I, I tell you one thing. Sometimes I wonder, we got a couple of trollers out there, okay? So uh, it's pretty funny, but you know what? It's flattering. No big deal. That's why, you know, but you know what? For everyone out there, you know we're very selective who we let in this room. So it's not, it's not a, um, you know, uh, a right. It's a privilege to be in here. And you guys should be damn proud of it because we just don't let anybody just come into the trading room. If we did, we would have two, 3,000 traders in this room. And I tell this to all the students here. Do you want to be in a room with thousands of traders in the room? Okay, that's just chaos and just noise and you know what I mean? So anyway, that's why we kind of limit it and, you know, be very, very selective who we let in there. Because we're looking, you know, once again, you should be honored because it's more of a, you know, uh, like I said, it's more of a privilege, not more of a right to be in the trading room. Because this is what you guys want to do. We're looking for professional traders that want to trade. So, you know, actually, I should give you guys a round of applause for that. You guys are doing a great, great job. All right. <laughs> this room rocks, Wayne. Well, thanks. All right, guys, listen. Good luck today. If I don't see you this afternoon, um, enjoy your weekend. But if you are a student here at Cyber Trade University, just make sure you're in class. It's the most important part of your lesson. And if you're not a student of Cyber Trade University, talk to Education Advisor and uh, let them tell you exactly, uh, tell you a little bit about it and so you know exactly. Because listen, it's not for everybody. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, if you don't see you in class, we'll see you this afternoon. If I don't see you this afternoon, if you made your money this morning, enjoy your weekend and see you early Monday morning. Good luck, everyone.